Hi folks, Paul Meeks here for Worthington Products. I'm here to talk to you about our Boat Buster series of floats. What is a Boat Buster? A Boat Buster is a barrel style float. Now we offer Boat Buster in two sizes and I'm standing here by some of our Boat Busters. The original Boat Buster that many of you are familiar with is a 36 inch diameter by 48 inch long float. It has roughly 1700 pounds of buoyancy to it. And the larger Boat Buster is what we call the Boat Buster HD. That is a 48 inch diameter float by 72 inches long. And my gosh, that has about 2,000 pounds of buoyancy to it. So these are barrier floats that are primarily used not so much for debris control, but they're used for safety purposes as boat barriers. We use them in head ponds above power plants and especially across rivers where you have large tainer gates or floodgates, and we want to keep boaters away from those dangerous areas. But then below a dam, for instance, in the tail race or in the spill, these as boat barriers to keep people from getting close to those gates. Because you know what happens. You get very turbulent water. You get water that has a lot of aeration in it, and the boats come in, and they end up submerging, and we have uh, uh, injuries and or fatalities. So... What's the difference between these two booms other than the size? Well, the difference is big. Inside each boom, we have a steel axle. The load rating between these two is very different because we have a four inch steel axle in here that we connect boom units together with one inch chain. And we only use alloy chain, grade 80 alloy chain. So we're using some good material to connect these. The spacing between units, it's up to you. Yeah, we can advice. advise you on what The Boat is. Buster HD has a much larger axle. And we're standing here. I've got an example of one of these axles. This is a 6-inch by 6-inch square tube with a massive steel lug plate on it. And we connect these with stud link chain, typically. And here we have some 1 quarter inch stud link chain. These allow you to go up to huge loads because, you know, when you're in a tail racer spillway, you have some really violent turbulent flows and you need a barrier that's going to be able to withstand all of that. So you've got the Boat Buster Standard and the Boat Buster HD. On the surface of these, we can put any type of graphic or lettering that you want. Damn ahead, keep out, danger, keep out, anything like that. Just let us know we can do that. Because this design that we have is a half shell design and you may have noticed these lines here. Well, what is that? That means we, we sandwich two shells together in between an axle, so these are totally customizable. But it also allows us to put these on larger floating barriers, big debris screens, walking barriers, screens with maybe five or 10 foot front screens to prevent debris from coming in. We even use them as ice boom designs as well. So this design here, it's not like a typical barrel float that you might see like a buoy, far from that. This is an engineered product that has a tremendous amount of versatility and longevity. Now, the Boat Buster is in our series called a roto-molded series. So what does that mean? It means the outside shell we make using a rotational molding process and then we fill them with foam. The life you're gonna get on this barrier, oh, it's generally about 15 to 20 years. We have a newer version, and I'm not gonna get into this because we have another video series, but we have a newer version called our Odin Boom series which is made from HDPE pipe. And in this case, you're going to get about a 50-year life out of the... I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've missed on the Boat Buster. I'm sure there are things I've missed, which is why we'd love for you to call us up and we can talk about your next project. And also, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because... Okay, so we're out in the shop right now, and I just wanted to give you a quick example of the size of the Boat Buster HD. This is not a small boom. And now we're outside. Here's another use of our Boat Buster floats. We use these as mooring buoys. So why do we need a mooring buoy with our boom line? Because a lot of times the anchor chain is so darn heavy, if you hook it up to the boom line, it's going to sink some of the boom. So we put an intermediate float, we call it a mooring buoy. This is an example of one of our Boat Buster HD mooring buoys. It's upside down. We have counterweights on the bottom. This connection plate here would connect to your anchor line. And then on each ends of these 
we're going to connect this to your boat buster line. See in the background how we also use these because they have so much buoyancy. We use these as floats for walking barriers and here you see a walking barrier. We're getting ready to send this plus a lot more down to some sites in Texas. Thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to contact Worthington Products for your next waterway barrier project. Have a great day.